To create any fractional factorial design easily, the best tool would be the Microsoft Excel. I'm going to explain for up to 15 variables here. So if we want to design up experiments with 15 factors or 15 variables, uh, which will need at least 16 runs, because 16 independent experiments have um, 16 minus 1, 15 degrees of freedom, so we can estimate up to 15 effects from these experiments. With 16 runs, if we can do 16 different experiments, then we can create a base 2 to the power 4 design with 4 variables, 2 level each, and then rest of the other variables can be created uh, from aliasing these 4 factors. Uh, to start with, let's we can create E from uh, A, B, C, D, A, B, C. Before I explain, I want to show something. If you are watching this video first, you can go to theopenrecorder.com and see how to create the one-half fraction design, how to create the quarter fraction design, and also a lot of basics on the fractional factorial design. Um, but for this video, I'm kind of skipping all these um, theories, which you can learn. Uh, later or maybe before this. Um, so to create E, simply you can multiply um, from the interaction of ABC and then there are four three-way interaction, three-factor interactions from this four variable ABCDE, ABCD. So then F can be created from the next three-factor interaction. G can be created the one and then H can be created this and also J can be created uh, from all four factor interaction here and then we can keep going with the three fact two factor interactions can be used to create next variable K and then you can see we have two um, total six two factor interactions A B S C A D B C B D and C D so this way we can create up to uh, all 15 variables. We can only run 16 experiments. Very interesting design. Probably the lowest possible runs uh, for a variable up to 15, um, 15, total 15 variables. And for 14 variables, simply you can delete this last column. So here um, you can simply delete that P column. I've just deleted that. For 13 variable, you can keep going like that. Uh, now, for up to eight factor, you have to use total um, four factor base design and then create rest of them combination of that. Uh, however, when we go to seven, we don't really have to run even 16. We can simply run eight experiment with three variables first, A, B, C, because from eight experiments, we have seven degrees of freedom, so we can uh, estimate up to seven variables and then you can create it like that. I'll be I'll post this document in the openeducator.com so you can use it for yourself.